Located at the intersection of Colfax Avenue and Colorado Boulevard, the Royal Palace opened its doors in 1969. John T. Norton announced plans for the hotel in 1967, with original plans having two towers and 300 rooms with balconies. But that vision had been downsized by 1969, when an ad in the Denver Post announced a 70-room motel that looked more like its neighbors along Colfax. Almost immediately after opening, the motel started to develop a bad reputation, mostly due to the rise in crime on Colfax Avenue around the same time. The motel became known for things like prostitution, drugs, and even murder, including the unsolved homicide of John Eggers who was found shot to death by a housekeeper. His killer is yet to be identified. Palace has been compared to L.A. Cecil Motel in many ways, including its crime and murder rate, as well as the year they both closed, which was in 2013. Many ideas have been floated about the Royal Palace Motel's future, including using it for the homeless, considering there's nothing wrong with the building's structure. In May of 2021, Jeff Olberg, whose building is owned by DBT Ventures LLC, filed paperwork for demolition. It doesn't mean it's going to be demolished, but if approved, it gives the owner the option to demolish or modify the building over the next five years. Alright, that is going to wrap it up for me. Don't forget, if you haven't subscribed, be sure to do so. If you liked the video, go ahead and hit the thumbs up, and hit that bell and it'll let you know when I drop a video. Lastly, if you have Instagram, be sure to go follow me over there at BluntTrips1176. Until next time, you all stay cool. Hey people, it's Jesus again. 
I almost forgot to remind you of one of my most important values, love. Be sure to show some love by liking this video. And remember, to get to heaven, you have to be a subscriber to Blunt Trips. Can I get an amen?